Hello, welcome to the next edition of Flashback Series. Today, people wanted to see Mardu vehicles. They used to be a thing back in Standard and Kaladash Standard. So we're going to try it out today in Pioneer, see how it actually competes. The key pieces in black we get is Fatal Push and uh, Blood Tithe Harvester. So we'll see how that actually works out, especially since the Blood Tithe Harvester is a, a two drop. That might be a conflict of interest. We'll find out relatively probably in the first few matches. But other than that, we have, uh, of course, the best black card in the whole entire format, Thoughtseize. That is our Mardu Vampires deck we're going to be trying out. Just a little bit of a taste. Uh, if you like this kind of content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We're on our way to get to 1,000 subs. Let's get there together. Let's break down the deck list and see the deck in action. So we have one Chandra main, one Chandra side for the mid-range matchups and uh, control stuff like that. We also have another Bank Buster on the side. We have three main. So we do have a decent amount of card draw out of our vehicle package. Three Heart of Curins. Uh, it's just a good two drop. That is a 3-3 three, three Vigilance Flyer. Uh, so it's pretty... Actually, I think it's a 4-4. Four, four. My bad. <laughs> we have Sky Sovereign, which is just a, a boat. So it's pretty good. And then we have Harvester for the aggro matchups. It has Life Link. We can gain some life. Uh, bridge that gap. <laughs> we also have a Veterans mo uh, Motorist. Uh, Delpa. Depelpa. Uh, Toolcraft. So Magda, so we have we have a little bit of dwarf synergies, and then of course we have Blood Touch Harvester because it's just the best two drop in uh, Rakdos. Sideboard wise, we have a, two Grab Diggers cages as a way to fight through opponents, Grease Fang stuff like that. Three uh, Bollies as a way to fight through Grease Fang, um, Model Blue, Model White. Three Thoughtseizes for the combo matchups and the control matchups. Two of Braids we could bring in for a little bit more spot removal. Also destroys artifacts if that's relevant. Like I said, Bank Buster is for the mid-range matchups. Two Unlicensed Hurts for a little, little bit of graveyard heat. Chandra we could bring in against Control mid-range. Uh, Hazard also is decent against mid-range because it's indestructible. A lot of the removal can't kill it. Uh, so that is our Mardu vehicles for Pioneer. Let's see the deck in action. play a sacred foundry tapped you forest elf passes i think i want a vantage bank buster go that way next turn i can motorist plus torch kill an elf nick those haven oh with Anissa. gets another lanawar elf i'm assuming plays that said what lanawar elf sure passes play the vantage motorist bottom top crew and we will go ahead and uh, let's see what happens. Go to combat, attack, and shoot the Llanowar Elf. Kiora untaps, plays an old growth troll. Forest passes. Crew, Flood Crypt tapped. Depelpa, it's a 6-6. Six, six. So we will attack Kiora. Devalue troll more or the Kiora more? Okay, values Kiora. Okay, 10 mana. What you got, opponent? Cavalier, 13 mana, potentially 14. Leveler, blows up the Pelpa. Hmm, I don't think there's a world where we win this one. How do we get rid of a leveler? Karn, okay. Guess Thoughtseize, maybe a Braid. Chandra's slow, Sky Sovereign slow. Uh, Harvester's not really needed. I guess it does have Flying, but then again, it just gets blocked by Cavalier. You get rid of Magda, I guess. I don't like that. Sacred Foundry, untap, Exemplar, go. Forest. Elf passes. Godless Shrine. Exemplar. Shoot the elf. Hit you for one. Forest. Elf passes. Put that on Seer Stop. Step. Depelpa. Hit you for four. Nick those. Kiora passes. Untap the forest. I suppose to put that on black. Play Hardicurin. Get rid of the elf. Besaju's Hardicurin. We will grab, I guess, a mountain. Go to combat. Kiora, Kiora, Kiora. We'll pay into her. We fizzle. Pass. Forest. Kiora. Passes. Haunted Ridge. Kiora, Kiora, Kiora. Dig four. Play Toolcraft. Pass. Play the Nick those. Cavalier. Okay. That's a lair. Blood Tithe Harvester. Crack the blood. Blood Tithe Harvester. Do I attack out with everything? So he takes eight, 11. Sure. Go ahead and pay. Fizzle by putting a land to the bottom. That's good. Okay. Takes out a Toolcraft down to four. Scoops it up, run it back, forest, oath, get the nick those, passes. I think I put this on red and pass. Nick those, okay, haven, play Magda, go, the Seiju, old girl troll, passes, concealed courtyard, it's not bad, play Depalpa, 
attack. Go ahead and exile it. Seems good. A lucre nose. You draw a ridge. Play that said ridge. Hardy Kieran. Pass the turn. Land Elvish Mystic. Six mana. Karn. Goes digging. Damping Sphere. Interesting choice. Passes. Oh, that's right. Karn turns off the heart. That's interesting. So that means I have to bargain. Eat the Karn. That's fine, I guess. Untap. Motorist. Bottom of both. Pass the turn. Since I can't play the heart of Kieran. Another Karn. Turns on the Damping Sphere. <coughs> Attacks with the Damping Sphere. I guess. Take it out. Another Motorist. Bottom, bottom. Pass the turn. Okay. Put some other Nectos down. Just so you know, your typical innocent 10 mana. Flips the Pelucra Nose. That decreases your, uh... Devotion, though, plays another Nick the our Pluker Nose. Down takes Karn. Shadow Spear plays a Shadow Spear. Equips to the smaller one. Goes to combat and attacks. Block and block. Fatal push the Pluker Nose. Hardy Kieran. Snipe the Lifelink one. Hit the Karn. Trades. Llanowar Elf. Gotta get rid of this Karn. Down ticks. Sky Sovereign. Gonna play that said Sky Sovereign. Plays another Nykthos. Plays the boat. Attacks for one. Play Depala. But the downside with that is, I guess, still, Sky Sovereign just kills it. Down to 12. Cavalier. Banky. Pass. Actually, he has Xaxes, right? He just turns on this. That's 10 plus 2. So, looks like we're going 0 and 1. This is really a bad matchup because of Karn. Like, we can't turn on our cool. Or activate our cool uh, vehicles. So let's get into the next. Elf. <coughs> Lair Elf passes. Shrine. Untapped. Push the Elf. Go. Haven. This is mono green. Crap. Wrong land. Go. I have so many advantages. Shrine. Nick those. He has everything foil. Yora. I feel cheated. His Lair needs to be foil. Old Girl Troll. Another land. Wow. Tapalpa. Tapala. One of these times I'll say it correctly. Elvish Mystic. Arn. Plays Sky Sovereign. Okay, now we have nothing. Play the Forest. Hits me for four. Take it. Play the Vantage. Go. Arn. Chariot. Plays that said Chariot. Turns on the Lair. Cruise the Sky Sovereign. Probably just Dej. That was bad. I guess we do what we did last time. Thoughtseize. A Braid. Down those. That. And a Magda, run it like that. Blood Crip, untap, go. Forest, elf, push it. Concealed courtyard, Magda, go. Nick those, passes. Mana confluence, to Paula, hit ya. Pass the turn, play the Nick those. Three manas, probably Cura, sure. Sacred Foundry, untapped. Bank Buster, Heart of Curin. Take out Cura, pass. Elvish Mystic. You draw a Haunted Ridge. Crew and Crew. Let's go digging. Uh, we'll grab another Bank Buster. Draw. Attack. You just gotta dodge a Karn. Then again, I guess Karn doesn't beat these two. Actually, he dies if he plays Karn. Kiora. You stay alive. Crew. Play Toolcraft. Which means we win. I think I keep the boat and bring them back on, on the draw. Probably down a Bank. A... Curin, not like that. Forest passes. Vantage go. Forest passes. Put that on white. Play Magda go. Nick those. Kiora. Sanitarium. Depala. Attack Kiora. Pass. No. Hit. Yeah, we can't kill it with the torch, so pass. Forest. Untap. Cavalier. Elf. Ridge. Motorist. Bottom. Bottom, attack, face, pay one, torch, so snipe it, pass, old girl troll, five mana, please don't tell me it's another cavalier, okay, untaps it, old girl troll, pays back into Nykthos, eight mana, blossoming tortoise, gets a lair, elf, another Nykthos, 13 mana, he has a storm the festival in the yard, probably gonna grab a cityscape leveler, all right, snipes my motorist. Another elf passes. Torch, sack the power stone. Bottom, blood tithe. 
Harvester, Crack of Food, and Pass, Invasion of Ixalan, Cordis. So I think I'm just going to call it a day. Oh, and two. Let's get into the next. Second Foundry tapped. Go. Hive. Passes. Vantage. Bankbuster. Go. Godless Shrine. Etherborn. Godless Shrine. Depala. Crew it. And attack. Okay. Edict. Ah. Uh -huh. So I think I go ahead and drop down Hardy Kieran. Go. Caves. Liliana. Up oh, takes Lily. I don't think I need the torch. Passes. To Paula. Crew. Pay into one. Hit Lily. Tap courtyard. Wedding announcement. Makes a one one. Blood Crypt tapped. Magda. Crew the, with Magda. Go to combat. Uh, attack. Pay two. Luminarch Aspirant. Aetherborn. Puts a counter on Aetherborn knowing the Sky Sovereign's inbound. Makes a token. Passes. Shrine. Untapped. Toolcraft. Sky Sovereign. Eat the Luminarch. Crew, crew, and crew. Make a bunch of treasures. And say done. And we attack. Pass. Hits me with Aetherborn. As you should. Take it. Goes to nine. Fatal pushes the Magda. We will go tutoring. Grab a Harvester. That happens. Makes a one one. Or two two I should say. We untap. We draw a Magda. Interesting. Crew. Tend to draw four. Crew. And crew. Go to combat. Got it. Okay, this is a matchup for these two. And the bank buster. The harvester is not needed in this matchup. We're on the draw, so Thoughtseize isn't great. Might have to go down. Probably a Magda. I don't like that. Why is it tap? Fortress. Bright. Pathway. Toolcraft. Go. Thoughtseize. Take a banky. Nope. Plays a Skyclave. We dro thought sees Bug, of course. So we'll go ahead and drop down Banky and attack Sanctum. Thought sees. Takes another to Paula. Vanishing Verse. We draw a land. Banky draws pass. Caves. Graveyard Trespasser. Eats a Depala. We draw a Depala. We are something. Sacred Foundry untapped. Hard cure it. Draw a card. Go. Attacks. Takes my other Depala. Down to 11. Passes. Mana Confluence. Depala. Toolcraft. Crew. Crew. Hit you for 10. The ends Bank Buster. It takes 5 to 10. Trespasser flips. Marches. Godless Shrine tapped. Hit me with Trespasser. Go to combat. Hit you for 4. Pass the turn. Goes to combat. Hits me for 4. Etherboard. Blood Tithe Harvester. Go to combat. Crew. Hit you. Past the turn. So I have Blood Tithe Harvester to defend my life. Luminarch. Goes to combat. Puts the counters on the Etherboard. Goes to combat. Attacks. Attacks. What does he eat? Nothing? So that means we fatal push the Etherboard. Got it. One and two. Let's get into the wrap up. All right. So what did we learn this week about this deck? Overall, we went one and two. Like, so we faced Mono Green twice. Both times we felt pretty bad but we did manage to push it to game three both times so we're able to showcase like the aggro plan of the stack but of course karn is a problem so i cut the abrades added into obliterating bolts gotta get rid of that karn otherwise it just stagnates this entire deck so that's probably a key reason why this deck is not a thing in pioneer karn does do a lot and mono green is a tier one deck so you got that outside of that like um, we managed to beat Ragdos or a um, Orzhov mid-range pile. So, like, that was pretty nice. Um, convincing 2-0 on that one. So, I, overall, I mean, that means we went 4-8 four and, four and eight out of our games. So, that's not bad. Record. If you have any suggestions, let me know down in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Hit, this, hit the bell notification so you can learn for future videos. Share this video if you like so we can get up to 1,000 subs together. And until next time, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you soon.